I've lived most of my life in Denmark, but when I was a teenager, I lived in Southern California for four years. I didn't make that decision myself, of course. I was barely 14 years old. My parents, or rather my father, made that decision, and so I went to high school in a suburb of San Diego in the 1980s. Both my parents came from poor working class families, and he wanted to make a better life for all of us in the States. I was a clueless Danish teenager when I arrived, and I never thought I would survive that first year. But I gradually acclimatized, got some amazing friends, and developed as a person, culturally, socially, language-wise. Although it was tough at times, I'm very grateful for that experience. It has shaped my life in many ways. Nevertheless, I decided to move back on my own when I was barely 18 years old. And I've often been asked why. I'm not sure I can ever give a totally satisfying reply, one that answers it 100%. Some of the decisions we make based on our gut feelings can be hard to rationalize afterwards. We just know we don't belong in a particular place in a particular job or relationship. It probably sounds insane, but one of the reasons, in fact the main reason, why I chose to move from California back to Denmark was the weather, or the countryside. More specifically, the lack of seasons. Eternal sunshine or eternal summer simply wasn't for me. I think many of us humans are more rounded by nature, the natural environment that we grow up in, than we sometimes think. We are part of the earth, and some of us, when we live in cities, spend our lives longing for nature. I know I have done. And although the Danish weather and countryside may not be spectacular compared to more dramatic landscapes, it does have variation. And it's what I grew up with until I was nearly 14. Without my knowing it at the time, it had become part of me. I had two friends who lived in Denmark for a number of years, but who eventually moved back to the countries they came from. One came from the Faroe Islands, the other from Iceland. I've visited both countries and I've seen with my own eyes how different the landscapes of them are compared to Denmark. The woman from Iceland said she couldn't live without the rough mountains. Denmark was a bit too neat for her. I think I understand that sentiment. I'm not actually an especially patriotic person. I love traveling, seeing other countries, meeting people from different cultures. One of the reasons I make these videos in the first place is to share and connect with people from around the world. And a part of me still misses the US, but I had to make a choice. At the end of the day, I felt I belonged in Denmark or in Europe just a bit more. That doesn't mean I'm always happy with my country, and like many people, I sometimes fantasize about living elsewhere. In southern England, for example, or in northern Sweden. Instead, I have a Swedish house and read a lot of English books and watch YouTube videos that explore other kinds of lives, which I imagine is something many of us do. If I had to pin down some of the things I appreciate the most in Denmark today, it would be the bicycle paths and the option to go from A to B in a bike, not always in a car. The fact that Denmark is a small country and so nature is never very far away. The changing of the seasons, visible in the trees, in the light, in people's behavior, in the sounds of the birds, in the garden. Having a garden with trees and grass and flowers, seeing it change from autumn to winter to spring to summer. And finally having houses around me that are not all new, knowing that people have lived here for hundreds of years.
Since Southern California is perhaps the part of the U.S. that is the most different from Denmark, an open question is, what if I had moved to a different state, one that has more seasons? Would I have stayed? Well, I'll never know, and I try not to look back in that way because it's really not helpful. Instead, I try to be grateful. It's so many years ago now, but I'm still reminded of it every now and then. Especially when the seasons change, because for a while there, I didn't have them. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Thank you so much for watching.